Welcome to this lesson. So here we're going to be looking at the word soccer. Now what makes soccer interesting is that it has two of the same letter. Okay, let's forget about that for now and carry on as per normal. So they say how many six letter words can be formed? So that would be, you'd open up six places and that would be choices. And then if you wanted to, you could just write down a word and you could write out the word that you're going to form. So for the first one, we have we have six letters available. So for the first we have six choices for the first one. Let's say we chose an S. Then you have five choices available. So let's say we chose a C. And then let's say you have four choices. Oh, but now that S is gone and that C is gone, for example, because repetition is not allowed. So now we have four options available. And let's say we chose an R, so that R is gone. Let me actually write this out up here. So we've used the S, we've used that C, and we've used that R. Next, we have three choices. So let's say we take that C over there. And then... We now have two choices available and let's say we chose the O and then let's say we have one choice available and so we have E. And so there's one word that we have just made. So if we wanted to work out how many words that is, that would be 720 words. But there is a big problem because what if on a second time I chose the following word? I said S-C-R-C-O-E. Mathematically, an O. Let's say that this C, let's say that the two C's that I've circled, they are the same. And then this C over here is that one over there. So we are, I mean, as humans, we can clearly see that how many different words do we have in front of us if we look at these two over here. There's only one word, but mathematically, they're going to try to tell us that that is two words because the maths doesn't know that they are rep repeating letters over here. So how do we deal with this? Because mathematically, this would tell us that they are two brand new words. However, we know that there's only one. So what you have to do when you are busy with words where there are letters that repeat is once you get your final answer, which is the 720, you then have to divide it by how many letters are repeating. And how many letters are repeating? Well, there are two C's, and so you'll divide it by two factorial, and that's going to give you 360. Now we're going to look at the word chocolate and we're going to see how many nine letter words can be formed. So I'm going to write out the word chocolate. So what you do is very easy. There's nine words or there's nine letters. So you just say nine factorial, but then you've got to look at all the repeats. Okay. So the repeats are C and C as well as O and O. So what you then do is for each one of those, you put down a factorial. So for the C's, there's two of them. So you say two factorial. And for the O's, there's two of them. And so you say two factorial. You don't want to add them together and say four factorial. And so the answer to this one is 90,720. Now here's where it gets interesting. For this one, the word must start with an O. Okay, so let me just quickly write down chocolate again. So we're going to start with an O. Now, the way it works is if they ask you to when they busy with a word question like this and they ask you to start with the letter, just put a one for that letter, okay? So we've chosen that, that's done. Then what you do is, you, okay, so I'm actually just gonna forget about that. What you now do is you look at how many letters are left. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight factorial. Then you divide by any repeats that are left over after you have used that. So the O's are no longer repeating. Can you see that? Because there is only one O left over. We're not including the one we've already used. But if we look at the C's, there's still two of them repeating. And so at the bottom here, you'll say two factorial. And so that's going to give us 20,160. Now I've just added a little more. We've now going to start and end with an O. So what you do is you imagine your nine places, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The, the, the O's must be at the beginning and at the end. So you just put a one there and a one there. Now those O's are gone because repetition is not allowed. So now how many spaces do we now have? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's obviously just going to be seven options, six options, five options, four options, three options, two options, one option. So what we're going to end up with is one times by 7 factorial, because that's what this part over here means, times by 1, over, now we look at any repeats after everything that has been taken away in the front and the back, That's we take that away. So those are gone, and those are gone. So we can see that these two C's are going to repeat. And so we have a 2 factorial at the bottom like that. So you look at how many things are repeating after you have taken away 
the stuff that they've asked you to use. They said that we must put the start and the end as an O, and so we did that, and then we saw that the two C's that are left over, they are going to repeat. And that's going to give us 2,520.